Hey everybody, I'm Scott with Scott Irvy Photography Art and More, and today we're going to talk about dirty photography. Today's going to be a quick video about getting down and dirty with your photography. This is not what uh, you think it's going to be, so uh, clear your mind right now. And yes, we are talking about dirty photography. Getting down dirty on the ground, those low angle shots, whether you're shooting stills or shooting video, those low shots give a nice perspective as opposed to always looking down on your subject. So as I'm walking down this path, I come across some Spanish moss that's laying on the ground in the grass. Now, typically most people would actually stand over this and shoot pointing downward as in this shot here. But, as you can see in this next shot, it's a little bit more interesting. Here I am laying down on the ground, I am eye level with it, and you can see all the little fibers that come off of it. See how it's all woven together and it's all uh, intricate little fibers that are just coming together to form this mass. So, which one looks better to you? This first shot, where I'm actually standing over it, or the second shot, where I'm actually laying down eye level? You know, everything's subjective, but to me, the second shot actually looks much, much better. It's much more interesting. Okay, so here's some uh, purple flowers in the grass. Not sure exactly what they're um, called, but I thought they were interesting. Now, here's with me standing over them shooting down pretty much what most people would actually take for a shot if they were out walking now here's another shot with me laying on the ground shooting straight across at them which one is more appealing to you which one's more interesting to me laying on the ground so one of the problems with getting these low level shots is i see these people in these really strange positions they're crouched down, they're bent over, they're trying to sit on their feet, and unfortunately, that can lead to a lot of accidents. Number one, not only is it not comfortable, you also run into issue as if you're getting older, you know, it's staying down in those positions is going to hurt your back, it's going to hurt your knees, you can't stay down for a long time, just makes shooting not fun. Second of all, you can lose your balance and fall. These next area of shots are going to see me actually using those positions where I've actually lost my balance and fell. Uh, luckily, today I was actually shooting with a cell phone and not a uh, expensive point and shoot or DSLR like sometimes I shoot with. You know, my cell phone is a little bit rugged. It's a Galaxy S8 and it's also waterproof. So just imagine falling trying to shoot at something uh with your dslr you can easily break a lens break the body and that can get expensive really fast so check out this footage of me just out shooting and uh you can see where you can hurt yourself the risks you take with photography whether you're doing it for work whether you're doing it for a hobby sometimes you just need to get down on the ground whether you're laying down whether you're sitting down you're gonna have to get on the ground if you want to shoot photography and video much better now i understand why people don't want to be down there there's bugs down there there's germs down there there's dirt down there and who knows there may even be poison ivy down there so what do you do to combat these situations when you need to get down and low for the most flattering shots one if you carry a backpack you can always carry a uh, blanket with you but for me a lot of times i don't carry a backpack i'm just out shooting quick shots just out shooting a random walking around the best thing that you can do is what my photography instructor told me a long time ago and it's what i'm sitting on right now just your standard ordinary trash bag carry a trash bag with you it can be useful for a lot a lot of things first of all you can use it to sit on you know if you don't want to get dirty with your photography you can lay it on the ground <sighs> lay down on top of it this way here you stay nice and clean 
especially if you're in an area where the ground could be a little bit muddy, a little bit swampy, and you don't want to get full of mud. Another great thing about having a trash bag, if it starts to rain, you got something waterproof to put all your gear in. Go ahead and put all my gear in the trash bag. And now, carry it around nice and dry. Or, if I happen to be out shooting, got my gear set up, and all of a sudden here comes one of those Florida rain showers, they'll save my gear from getting wet, keep it nice and dry, keep my gear from getting ruined. The best thing about it is trash bags are cheap and they're nice and portable. If you don't carry a backpack and you're just going around for a regular hike, Push it all up, take all the air out of it. Into my pocket it goes. Hey guys, oh, you may be wondering why I'm down here, but um, there's a purpose. <laughs> Excuse me, Preston, I'm not playing. My dog thinks I want to play. But there is a purpose for this. Yeah, I've got this nice little setup that I created for my action cam. It actually has a, a camcorder um, housing on it that allows me to rotate the screen. Flip around this way. I've got my mic and my light for exploring. Now, this is a great setup. My little grip handle here actually turns into a tripod. But as you can see, the problem is all the weight is up front, which is not that good. You can't set this up anywhere so it tips over. I want to show you a little trick for when you're out in the field. Very inexpensive. In my bag, I keep this flat rock which I found at the beach and I also keep some string. What you can do would be to go ahead, wrap this string around this rock, and then tie the other end around a little tripod. This will work with any tripod, any tabletop tripod, if you just have too much weight or you need to kind of balance the weight. Now, what I can do is just stretch this rock out as far back as I need to to kind of balance my weight, and then it stands up. It beats having to carry around a bag full of sand or a weight bag that adds extra weight and that gets heavy at the end of the day. This rock is nice, lightweight, kind of balances perfectly. Works great with any tabletop tripod or this little setup that I have. So when I'm out in the field and I want to set this down, this is what I can do. The other thing I can do is if I'm close to something, uh, if there was a pole or a fence, I could actually tie this off. Baller string cost me $1 at Dollar Tree. The rock I found at the beach and it was free. You can use any rock as long as you can tie a string to it. So just a little quick tip for today to help you get better footage in the field. <laughs> 